It is official. Yamaha has launched the PSR SX900 and the PSR SX700 to replace their PSR S series, which has been around for more than a decade. And here are a couple of videos from Yamaha featuring their new technology as well as new features in the PSR SX range. And let's have a look and discuss. So the first thing that is new to the Yamaha PSR SX range is the upper chord detection. So it actually detects chords on your right hand and you are able to use your left hand to play a manual bass line. Let's have a look. So you can see here, the right hand is triggering the chords as well as playing a comp and the left hand is playing a manual bass line. This is a very useful feature, especially if you are accompanying vocalists or a lead instrumentalist. And you want a more lively bass line than what the accompaniment style already has. So finally, we have this feature on the Yamaha PSR SX range, the middle of the line range. This feature actually has been around on the Cork PA series arranger for the longest time that I can remember. They call it uh, M bass, which is the manual bass. And finally, we see it in the Yamaha PSR SX range, which is a welcome move. Who doesn't want more features and functions for their money? The next feature that is new in the PSR SX range is the style section reset. Let's have a look at it. So with every press of the button, the style resets to the first measure and first beat. And this can be assigned to a foot switch. This is a lot more useful than the half bar fill found in the PSR S975. So this feature is useful for when you want to play songs and pieces with mixed time signature. For example, you are playing something in 4-4 and in the middle there's a bar that shortens to 2-4 or to 3-4 and how do you fit that in when your style is going continuously in 4 beats? So with this trigger, the style reset, you can actually reset it back to the first beat of the measure after 3 beats if, for example, your time signature just temporarily goes to three beats. This is something that I will find myself using quite a bit because in the old days, there's really no way you can play mixed time signature within the same style. Next, let's look at something new on the PSR SX range. It is not new in the industry. Actually, a lot of other brands use a joystick instead of the modulation wheel and pitch band wheel. So here in the PSR SX range, Yamaha has decided to adopt a joystick rather than the pitch band and modulation wheels. And to me, it is actually more useful than the separate wheels because you can control both features at the same time. But what is also available here on the Yamaha PSR SX range is that there is a modulation hole button. Let's have a look. So this is a free play style that is being used. And you can see the demonstrator using the joystick to control the modulation and to explore the modulation capabilities and using the modulation hold button to fix the modulation at that point. So this is useful if you're trying to explore different soundscapes. So this modulation hold button is a necessity because once you combine your pitch band and your modulation wheel into one joystick, there is really no way to fix your modulation at that position. If you had your modulation wheel, you can just leave your modulation at whichever position you want without it bouncing back to the original position. So with a joystick, this is no longer possible and therefore you have this modulation hold button to help you out.
The next headline feature on the Yamaha PSR SX range is the chord looper function. So this chord looper function is really a naming exercise because on the Korg PA series keyboard, we've had a chord sequencer for the longest time. You know, I had a chord micro arranger which had the uh, chord sequencing functions literally so many years ago. So it is finally arrived on the Yamaha keyboards and let's have a look at what it can do. So what the chord looper does initially, one of the things you can use it for is to record a chord sequence and that frees up your left hand from having to play a specific chord feature and you can then play your pianistic styles uh, with both hands. So this is just one of the possibilities with the chord looper. Let's have a look at some of the other possibilities. So the other possibility is that you can actually record a chord sequence and then you can play with different styles to find out which is an appropriate style for that chord progression that you are trying out. And that allows you to experiment with different styles for that same set of chord progressions for your tune that you are coming up with. In this case, it's more of a songwriting tool rather than a performance tool. You can hear the same melody, it takes on a different groove when you use different styles, even though the chord progression may be the same. So the next thing you can do with your chord looper is to create a sequence of uh, multiple chords and you can create up to eight sequences. These eight sequences can be mixed and matched and can be looped and uh, to form an eventual song, daisy chain to form an eventual song. So let's have a look at this feature being demonstrated. So you realize that the chord sequence only recorded the sequence on the left hand and the playing on the right hand isn't actually recorded. And you save it into one of the eight chord sequence banks, which you can then use to daisy chain to form your inspiration for your songwriting. So you can see what the performer did there is to select the uh, sequences that he has recorded previously on the fly. The next thing we're going to do is look at another possible use with the Chord Looper and that is with the Chord Tracker app that's available on your mobile devices. So this Chord Tracker app is a new, we have it in the Yamaha Sonogenic guitar, the SHS500, where it takes an audio file, analyzes the chords in there and uh, build the chord sequence list, which you can then transfer that chord sequence onto your PSR SX and play along with that chord progression, but with a variety of different styles. So let's have a look at that. So the first thing they did after opening up the Chord Tracker app is to load up a song in your library. It doesn't have to be a MIDI song. It can also be an audio song. And it will use the processing power of your mobile device to actually 
uh, figure out what chord sequences there is and then it will send that chord sequence to the PSR SX and it would appear on screen as a list of chord sequences which you can then use with various different styles that is built into the PSR SX and play along with different styles even though the chord sequence are exactly the same. This feature is very useful for those who are trying to figure out the chords for a new song that they are trying to learn and they don't have a very good ear and they are not uh, really very sure about what all the chords are in that song. So this will definitely come in very useful both as a practice tool as well as a song arrangement tool. Next, let's look at some of the new voices that are found in the PSR SX range. So here we have the Super Articulation Concert Grand. which is definitely a much better piano sample than the one found on the PSR S975. Here we have the super articulation saxophone played with a soulful ballad style. Now we're using the organ flutes and we have the fast and slow rotary speeds being triggered by the assignable buttons. Here we have the Kino strings, the Seattle Romance and the Seattle Cellos. So the Kino strings are a lot more realistic because of the way that they are layered. It really replicates a string section a lot better than the old way of having your uh, string section. Next, let's look at another style and a couple of more voices that is found on the PSR SX900. Here we have the Cool Bossa beat from the Latin group and is using the Super Articulation uh, Pop Grand Piano. The new samples on the PSR SX is indeed uh, a lot cleaner and warmer. I realize there's a certain warmth to the sounds. And the chord detection on the left hand on the Yamaha PSR SX is really one of the best around. It detects the chord changes really, really fast. So styles is something that Yamaha has a good record with and they usually have a lot better styles than their competitors. So I hope you guys enjoyed this little intro on the new features, functions and a couple of voices and styles on the Yamaha PSR SX series that was launched by Yamaha today. So I will be getting my hands on one of these units, you know, whether Yamaha sends it to me or not, I have no idea, you know. So once I get hold of it, I will be exploring deeper the features, functions, as well as letting you have a listen to a lot more of the styles and the voices in that PSR SX range. So make sure you are subscribed if you haven't done so. And I'll see you in the next video.